I want to talk to you about practicing your short game with both premium balls and fresh, clean grooves and why it's so important. I think it's a big mistake to just uh, take out range balls. Maybe your club's a little dirty or maybe your wedge grooves are worn. I got a question for you. Have you how long have you had that wedge? Because after about 75 rounds, what happens? Obviously, as the ball, golf ball collides with the face, the top of the groove gets pushed in. The bottom of the groove raises. The edges lose their sharpness, and you're losing at least 20% of your spin, which affects two things. Obviously, how quickly the ball stops, and as the grooves wear out, the ball launches higher in the air. So when I see a ball pop up in the air, roll out, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean my grooves and make sure there's not debris in there. But if your grooves aren't sharp, you have constant debris, basically. So even though I might keep my driver or my irons for three, four, five, six years, my wedges, my SM8 Vokies, I replace every season. The pros I coach on tour, they're doing their clubs they use out of the sand, which obviously is creating more friction, practice out of the sand, three to four times a year minimum. So we're not pros, but let's replace our wedge every year to keep those grooves nice and sharp. Now, lastly, I know you're thinking, well, I, I'm not going to get a shag bag full of Tylus golf balls. That's going to be too expensive. You don't need a shag bag. You need maybe six. And I'm talking Pro V1 or Pro V1X is perfect. I, uh, grooves are nice and clean. I got my six balls. And why a premium ball? Well, 95% of what you know is, is intrinsic knowledge. It's, it's things you know and you don't know how you know them. So the key is, how am I going to develop this sense for just what to do? Well, if I'm chipping a range ball, that's not giving me the feedback I need because it's going to launch differently and roll out differently. If I drop these in a pile and just hit the same one over and over again, that's not giving me a wide enough breadth of data to develop this intrinsic knowledge. So what I'm going to do instead so I'm going to throw my balls everywhere, down slope in the rough, up slope, teed up, short shot, long shot, all right? And now I have to practice, when I practice, uh, judgment, touch, feel, focus, the soft skills so important for, for, for performance that have nothing to do with technique. So let's say I'm going to do this ball in the rough. I got a down slope, I'm teed up, I got to make choices. Because it's a down slope and it's going to launch lower, it's not a pitching wedge. Teed up, it's not a lob wedge. So I have my sand wedge here, and I'm going to widen out and lean down the hill a little bit. And I don't know why I know, but I'm going to land this about eight feet on the green and play a little lower than normal trajectory. And it's going to break about three feet left to right. So a little wider, a little down the hill, a little lower. Now, the question would be, how did I know to do that? The answer is, I've been practicing the right way with good balls and good clubs, developing this internal intrinsic sense, and you can't do that with a range ball in a pile. So don't make that mistake. Practice smart and get the most out of your game.